Moluxella lavis, also known as shell flower, and perhaps most well known as Bells of Ireland. It's an annual flower that comes from the Mediterranean region, popular in Syria, popular in Turkey. So why the name? Bells are considered lucky in Ireland, so is the color green. Presto, Bells of Ireland. How else do things get named? This cool plant prefers full sun, but it'll tolerate part shade too. Everything that I've read says that you can absolutely not transplant Bells of Ireland because it has a taproot. As opposed to a fibrous root system, it just doesn't like to be transplanted. I confess that I was experimenting in the springtime. I seeded this in a smaller pot and I moved it into this pot. It's here, it's alive. It's doing all right, so. Transplanting not recommended, but it is possible. Now, there's a few things to know about Bells of Ireland if you want to grow it from seed. It's not hard, but you really have to know these things if you're going to go on this adventure. First, Bells of Ireland really benefit off of a technique called stratification. Okay, if you've never heard of stratification, simply put, you're basically making a seed think that it's gone through a dormancy period. What I do is I take the seeds I want to germinate and I'll kind of put them between a soaked paper towel, carefully, make sure that paper towel is very moist, pop it in a Ziploc bag, label it, and then put it in my fridge for two weeks. Now when you take that bag out of the fridge, those seeds are going to think that it's springtime. Time to grow! And your germination rate shoots through the roof. Essentially, you're mimicking the cold, wet conditions of a winter. Usually stratification is done to perennials, but for some reason, all the plants in the mint family, it's a big family, including Bells of Ireland, they all benefit from stratification. The second thing you want to know is Bells of Ireland needs light to germinate, okay? Just press the seeds into the soil and mist them. Don't cover them in soil. Seeds with a long germination time can easily rot. <laughs> Get this, the germination time for Bells of Ireland can be around one month. Uh, that seems like forever sometimes to a gardener. Be patient. Chances are, if you did stratification to your seeds, uh, you will see those little babies pop their head out into the world, eventually. But hot tip, write it in your calendar, because life's busy and you will likely forget. You'll just stare at that soil and be like, isn't working. Where's my Bells of Ireland? Let's talk about Bells of Ireland when it actually starts to grow. Uh, here's a picture of the seedling that I somehow managed to transplant. <laughs> What's cool about this plant is it kind of grows up in these things called spires. Uh, it can grow up to three feet and if you're really eager for height you can add some nitrogen fertilizer to just get it to shoot right up. I didn't add any fertilizer uh, and it's in a container so it's you know it's not huge, but if you're planting it in the ground, you can definitely attain a little more height than something like this. Now, this can blow your mind. These little bells that flood the stems here aren't actually the flowers. What? No way. No way, Jacqueline. What are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you. The actual flowers of this plant, you can barely see them. Here's a close-up. These bells are actually the calyxes of the plant, and these teeny little tiny little white flowers are inside each bell. Who knew? Also, they're fragrant. It's like noses rejoice. It's a vanilla party in here right now. It's like a sweet vanilla scent. Who thinks that this little flower looks like a monster face? <laughs> also cool, as Bells of Ireland matures, they develop these little spikes right under the calyxes. Can you see that little round of spikes? So, beware of those. The last thing I wanted to mention is Bells of Ireland makes a great cut flower. It's beautiful in any floral arrangements. Green, Flowers are all their age these days. Uh, just get rid of these little leaves because they wither and wilt away really quickly. And you're good to go. Try growing Bells of Ireland. It's so much fun. It 
takes a lot of patience, but it's so worth the effort. And the stratification may seem daunting, but it's really not. You can do it. Bells of Iron. Should I ring my bell again?